made it, people. We're back in New York. And I know it's funny, we're in the same exact room we were last time we were here. Anything to say, Wifey? No. So we gotta find Mike. Mike is here with us. I think he must have stepped out and maybe getting food. We're supposed to eat dinner together. But uh, maybe he's getting, I don't know. We'll find out where he's at. We're gonna track him down. We're gonna get some dinner. And we brought bathing suits this time. So uh, after dinner, we're going to chill at the pool and the hot tub and uh, relax a little bit. We got some drinks. Bang! Now we're going to stay here tomorrow night too after the race so we don't have to rush home because it is a five hour drive. So we can take our time after the race, wait for trophies maybe if we get one, we'll see. And then uh, come back here, do the dinner, dinner thing again and then uh, we're definitely gonna need the hot tub tomorrow because we're gonna be sore. We were sore after the last one. But that's a good thing, guys. So uh, we will uh, keep you updated if anything cool happens uh, today. So that's it. You know what time it is? Hot tub time! That's right. We got our bathing suits and we have some melons. <laughs> Don't tell nobody, guys. Keep it on the DL. Cause you're not supposed to have alcohol in here, so gonna get in that right there. And Mike, 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 Mike is gonna be down here too in a minute. We'll show you him. We found Mike, 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 right there. Three, number two. All right, we just left the pool. It was pretty good. The hot tub was broken, guys. Bullshit. And you couldn't fix it. And we couldn't fix it because it was locked. So we're gonna complain to the front desk tomorrow. So uh, we're going to head to Broome tomorrow, guys. So uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you in the morning. See, see you in the morning, Mike, 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 Mike. It's race day. We're going to get some food first, meet Mike. He was up at like 6 texting me. So check it out, guys. We're getting our exercise on, taking the stairs every time we come and go from this place. Three flights up and down. Mike's not too happy about that, but she'll survive. No breakfast. breakfast for you. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike's gonna have three Gonna go get our eat on because we're hungry. We're hangry. Hangry. Oh, breakfast is done, people. So now we are on route to the track. Not sure if you can see that. About an hour drive. Got a little snow last night, a little dusting. It's about 25 degrees right now, so definitely much warmer than last time. Last time it was like 5. Um, it should warm up into the mid-30s, so it should be a good day. We made it. It's chilly, guys. 28. It's supposed to warm up. See, uh, definitely a little different than last time. Light dusting of snow, but the majority of snow is gone, and it's uh, it's pretty soft. There's Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. It's gonna be muddy guys, it's gonna be muddy, but uh, we're gonna keep the studded tires on because I mean it's kind of frozen and muddy, so uh, we're not even gonna bother. We're just gonna keep them on and run it. Get the quad all ready to go. We do have our elephant ears. We're gonna put those on to uh, keep our hands clean from roost. We're gonna pop these on after. That's pretty much it. So now we just, we're gonna wait and then uh, we'll bring you some action uh, as the first race gets underway in about an hour or so. Uh, so so stick around for that first race is about to get underway 11 a.m. start we got about I don't know five six minutes before they get going track is backwards so we'll basically run they'll turn to the right and then take a you know a long sweeping left go all the way up to that turn up there come back down and then hit the big field section out and around and uh, it's gonna be muddy guys it's uh, a mix between frozen mud and then just sloppy nasty mud so uh, by the time we get out there it's going to be torn up pretty bad um i'm already hearing like in the fields up there kind of where i got stuck last time is really bad so we'll just have to uh pay attention and try not to get stuck that's the goal so good start it's going to be key so you don't take on all kinds of roosts and then, uh, trying to just keep moving that's all so that's the plan so these guys should be starting up in a few minutes.
Okay, so they did two separate races for the quads because there was so many people in some of the lower classes. So they did basically the first three rows, which was my race. We'll give you guys details on that later. And then they're doing the next three rows. So Mike's in that race, so we're gonna catch him when he comes by. So far he's leading, got the whole shot. He's picking off lappers right now. He's doing really good. Oh man, coming off that, Eesh. snap the axle. back home people definitely was a fun weekend we ended up staying Saturday night just chilled hung out the pool had a good dinner let you guys uh, see the quad so it was muddy as you guys can see very very muddy so we got a work cut out for us as far as cleaning goes this is a, a good cleaning probably gonna be a couple hour cleaning you can see the helmet you can see the GoPro so bad news guys, no race footage. Someone didn't put a uh, a fresh battery in the camera before the race. I should have checked it, it's my own fault. And uh, I was on the line, hit it, and uh, nothing. So, but with the conditions, the footage probably would have been horrible. Uh, just the mud was pretty bad. And uh, I probably would have wiped the camera like I normally do but you can see how it is there obviously I knew it was dead so I didn't wipe it at all but it is what it is so we got this video hopefully you guys enjoy it we captured some action uh big quads little quads and that's pretty much it uh our race as far as our race went we uh just about had the whole shot <clears throat> which was awesome and then uh kind of tangled up with another rider and we were stuck together so my front tire was wedged between his back tire and his nerf bars so the whole class passed us which was 11 total guys in the expert class and uh we couldn't get the quads unstuck we had to have to, we had to wait there were some spectators maybe three or four that came by and got us unstuck it was bad we were like locked up bad i mean it happens pretty much killed my race uh was hoping for a good finish top three ended up working my way up to fifth which wasn't horrible uh mike however had a killer race he grabbed the whole shot and the utility win so that's two in a row for him so great job mike um the track was backwards which was nice and we got a little bit more wood so the track was actually pretty good uh winter was not there as you can see by the quad it was in the probably high 20s 28 29 so weather was good but uh the fields like the fields up high were just trashed muddy just i mean they were passable had no issues as far as getting stuck or anything like that but it was just you know it slows you down a little bit going through that stuff but the wood section was awesome the moto track was fine and then like the lower field section was fine we kept the studs on and uh it may be hard to see with the dirt, but they're all there still. Every one is there. Both tires. We will confirm when we clean this thing, but 
I don't think we lost any, which is really cool. Definitely impressed with these studs, three quarter inch length. Um, if you guys missed one of the previous videos I did, Alco cleaners, check that out right there. They're giving you guys 20% off. Watch that video, find out how, because this is perfect example of how good Alco works. It's gonna clean this thing up awesome. And uh, we'll inspect it and uh, get it ready for next weekend's uh, just practice ride. Not sure what we're gonna do yet. Maybe wear ham again, or maybe a trail ride, we'll have to see. But uh, keep you guys posted as always. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. You know the deal, if you're not yet, please subscribe. Smash that like button for me, and uh, any questions, drop a comment, and we'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Thanks for watching. Peace.